Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary and here I post all sorts of content about like DIY, home stuff, side hustling, health, beauty, whatever. Pretty much whatever the heck I want. Today we're gonna talk about some really cool nails that I have been loving and I think you might love them too. If you saw my last video, um, I'll link it up here somewhere or down there, whatevs, you know the drill. Um, I gave myself a nail bacteria probably about six months ago or so when I really messed up doing my nails at home and putting an artificial nail on my nail beds. If you wanna hear the whole story, go check out that video. But today, we're gonna to talk about the nails that I have been using to avoid such situations, and I love them. So, I have been using Impress Press On Nails. If you grew up in the 80s, like I did, <laughs> dating myself here, these are not the press-on nails of the 80s. These are different, and I have more, like you guys. When I tell you, mm, I love these nails, I really do. They're super fun, they have tons of different designs, and they're so easy to apply. These are the ones I'm gonna put on today. I'm feeling just, I don't know, it's after Halloween. I did like the crazy Halloween ones and they were super fun, but I'm feeling like going a little bit plain for this next week. So these nails are awesome because they already have the adhesive on them and all you do to put them on is you literally peel this adhesive off and I'm gonna show you like step by step by step here, but I'm just kind of like giving you the overview right now. Um, you just peel the adhesive off Make sure you, oh my gosh, make sure you use the alcohol pad to like clean your nail bed because that's what's gonna make sure that the nail actually adheres. And then you stick these things on and then they are a little bit long for what I like to wear. Um, so I wind up trimming them down. But the big thing that I really love about these nails is, so not only are they easy to apply, but they will not just pop off. They won't. I have never had one unexpectedly pop off. Whereas when I use the glue on nails, I have had one unexpectedly pop off. And it's happened to me like over the years when I've used those types of like glue on nails. It's like you're just out and about and all of a sudden, boop, like with no warning, a nail pops off. And you're like, shoot. Granted, you know, you bring your nail glue with you. It's no big deal. You just stick it back on. But like, what if you're in a business meeting? Or, you know, or you're like on a hot date with your man and like all of a sudden you lose a nail. Like, how embarrassing. So what I like about these is that they won't do that. What happens instead is when the adhesive is starting to, I don't know, like get a little old or start to wear down or whatever, um, when the nail is getting ready to pop, it doesn't actually pop. The adhesive just gets a little bit more squishy. It's, I'm trying to think like how to describe it. Um, you'll feel the nail itself you can kind of like push on it and it'll like move around a little bit on the nail bed. And that's when you know, okay, like this nail is ready to go. And sometimes like all of them will be ready to go. If you've worn these for two weeks, they're gonna start to squish and move around a little bit. And that's definitely my cue to say like, okay, like these nails are ready to go. There has been like one or two times where, honestly, I didn't use the alcohol pad and that's why this happened was, um, I didn't fully like prep the nail bed, so I just stuck the nails on really quick and I was like, oh, it'll be fine, it's no big deal. Well, like a day or two later, I had a few of them that were kind of like squishy like that. And all you do, here's the other thing, the other reason why I love these, is that when they do get squishy like that, or even if they're not squishy, you've had them on for like a few days, they are so easy to take off, so easy. You don't have to soak your nails. All you need to do is you take that little orange stick that they give you and you just Put it like underneath the side of your nail bed kind of like wedge under there a little bit and you just sort of like work at it and pull it off now if you're a savage like i am sometimes um and you really just want the dang nails off i have literally just been like rip 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 word to the wise though don't do that in front of your man or in front of somebody who is not used to seeing somebody rip their nails off unexpectedly um a handful of months ago, I was wearing my nails and we were in the driveway. I was in the driveway with Ben and I was working on some sort of like project or something with power tools. And I was just like, these nails aren't gonna work for me right now. I gotta get rid of them. They're like two weeks old anyways. And I was standing there talking to him and I was just like, rip, 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 rip. Horror, horror look on his face. He was like, what are you doing? What's happening? And I, 
I guess I didn't realize that he didn't realize that those weren't my real nails and it kind of caught him off guard. All of that to just basically say these things are really easy to put on. They will stay on. They're also easy to take off. Just don't rip them off in front of your man or somebody who hasn't seen you do that before. But I'm going to take you through step by step by step on how I easily put these things on. First things first, I pick out a set of nails that I'm really interested in wearing for at least a week, sometimes up to two. Unpack your nails and make sure that you hold on to that alcohol pad that comes with it. That is very important in prepping the nail surface. Next, you're going to match the sizes of the artificial nails to your natural nails, trying to make sure that they cover the entire nail bed. And the great thing about these nails is the kit comes with a lot of extras, so you are sure to find a size that will fit for you. You'll want to trim your nails as well as use the cuticle stick provided in the kit to push back your cuticles. Next up is the very, very important step of prepping your nail surface with the alcohol pad that is provided. Trust me, this is a step that you do not want to skip. Skipping this step will result in the adhesive not properly adhering to your natural nail and your press-ons will pop off relatively quickly. You'll notice the base of the nail is the part that has the clear overhang on it. That will align with the base of your cuticle when applying. To apply the nails, you simply peel the backing off and press it down onto your natural nail. Hold it for a few seconds and you are good to go. This entire process only takes me a minute or two. It's really quick and simple. And that's it. You're done. It literally is that easy to do. However, if you are like me and you like a little bit of a shorter nail, all you have to do is get out your nail clippers and simply trim them down to a length that is comfortable for you. A final step if your nails feel a little bit rough or uneven is to use the file that is provided and to simply file them down nice and smooth. You may also notice that if you trimmed the nails down past the glue portion that a little bit of that balled up glue may start to come off as you file it. Don't worry about it. As you continue to file, the glue will actually ball up a little bit and will just simply be filed off. Here you can see the difference between the nails as is out of the package on my left hand and when they are trimmed on my right. Both are equally beautiful. It's just a matter of personal preference. As a final step, I like to use a cuticle moisturizer. My personal favorite right now is this knuckle wax that I found at Duluth Trading Company. And that is it, a beautiful salon finish nail in a matter of minutes. I hope you liked this video and found it to be very helpful and informational. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You know what to do, hit the subscribe button below and I will see you next time. Bye.